Hello everyone and welcome back to your fifth C++ tutorial and in this lesson I'll show you how you can create functions in C++. Now basically what a function is, it's a bit of code that you can call to run at any time and uh, the simplest form of a function is here int main and this is a function that calls straight away whenever your compiler starts to compile the code and if you want to create your own functions you start off by typing void to say that it's not going to return anything. If you do want it to return something, you'll type int, but we'll get onto that later. So um, for now, void, and I'll call it display text. Like this, and I'll just have it display out some text. So uh, this is a function. There, and now, if we build and run this code now, absolutely nothing happens as you can see but this is the why this happens is really simple it's just because we've created the function we just haven't asked it to run yet so to do this we just type the name of the function semicolon and right as you can see we get an error and uh, we get this error because uh, the way a compiler works is it reads the text that you've coded going down. So it goes down, it sees display text, and when it gets to here, it hasn't seen display text here yet. So it hasn't got a clue what this function is. So um, to do this, what we have to do is just go cut and paste this up here and go run. But uh, this can become a bit of a problem if for some reason where you really did have to have this function down here then um, what you have to do is and like one reason why you might want to do this is if this is up here and you try to call main from it it hasn't read main yet so uh, again we'll have a similar error what you can do is you can declare the function before you start to code it so if you just type void display text like that and then build and run. As you can see it still works, but as long as we keep the function below the declaration of it, we can go build and run with it above main and we shouldn't get any errors. There, so as you can see that's how you can get around that, and uh, that's basically how to create functions and what they are. But uh, if you want to create a more advanced function, so uh, Let's say create a, let's create one that you give it a number and it displays it out. It's not, you know, much more advanced, but something else to do with it. So if we call this one, uh, show none. And now one way that we can do this is using something called parameters. And parameters are basically a piece of data that you can supply to the function that it will then display out or manipulate for you. So if we call it int num and then c out num just like that. So now I'm sure that you're thinking that this is going to do nothing because we haven't set num equal to anything. But the way what happens with parameters is that you type the name of the function as before with your semicolon but within these brackets here you insert your parameters so where it says int num whatever we type in here will be set equal to, equal to int num so if we say give it 100 and then run it int num will be given the value of 100 so when we display it out it will show 100 if I go build and run there we have 100 and uh, using these techniques we can create a really simple calculator so if we give it more than one parameter by using a comma, we can then go num uh, and create another variable called answer, and then say answer equals num plus num2, and then can say that the first one will be 1, 
and the second number will be 2. So now what this will do is it will uh, set 1 equal to num and 2 equal to num2 and then it will create a variable called answer and that will be equal to num which is 1 and num2 which is 2. So the answer will be 3. So now what we have to do is display this out on the screen. So answer. And there, this should work fine. Oh, we just have to say int before here. And there, so we get 3. So that's the beginning of a really simple calculator. And that's once again, we have int num and int num2, which are both parameters. And when we say show num, so calling the function, and we set 1 and 2, all that does is set number 1 equal to num, and number 2 equal to num2. And then within show num, we've created a variable which is equal to the first number plus the second number. Then when we display it out, it will show the first number added to the second number. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a bit more about functions in C++. Please watch previous tutorials and future ones will soon be available. Please hit the like button and thanks for watching.